Hey, hello. Um, can you hear me? Just give me some sign that you can hear me. Hello? Can you hear me? No, you didn't answer my question. Can you hear me? All right. Um, where is your microphone? Where is your microphone? Please turn your microphone on because this is um, a conversational class. We are supposed to talk. <laughs> so Yule, um, this is the language class. I I talk with uh, people here. I speak. So what do you want to do then? If you don't have a microphone, what do you want to do? I usually speak with people. Uh, that what? Alright, if uh, it is interesting for you, so then I will ask you questions and um, you will type me the answers. Uh, otherwise, I don't know how can it be in another, in another way. Okay, so what's new? What's new happened uh, with you during this week? again so the, the question is uh, what is new what new happened with you okay that's not a problem absolutely what's new Yeah, I understand. Um, now, what um, 
what are your news what is what what new happened with you during this time what is the news Okay, so that's something interesting. All right, um, Yule, uh, what grade do you go to to use? Okay, A Russian language. You are getting prepared for your exam in the Russian language. So, um, what grade do you go to? Or in, um, I don't know English. So, why, why did you come to the English class then? I do not teach Russian. I do, don't know <laughs> Russian that well. Um, to be able to teach uh, Russian. All right, very interesting. So what do you want me to do? To teach you Russian? Or what? Hello? Are you there? Hey, Yule. Why do you come to the English class?
Okay. Um, which grade are you in? I asked you a question, which grade are you in? And then I will answer your question. Just tell me, what is your grade? Which grade are you in? Is it 11th grade? Are you in the 11th grade? So, are you in the 11th grade? Why people don't come to this class? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Why people don't come here? I have no idea. What do you think? Yeah, you, you translated it in the correct way. What you said is absolutely correct. Grade or uh, in British English it is called form. Which form are you in? Okay. Um, so, why, what do you think? Why people do not come to this class? So what do you think? Why people don't come to this class? Why people do not come to this class? What do you think?
so what is your idea early <laughs> what do you mean early <clears throat> in the city where I live it's um, 20 after 9 so it's kind of a late it's dark in my place it's already dark do you take no people know about the class yes they do they do which language did you study at school Was it French, German? Which language? Which language did you study at school? Was it okay, English? <laughs> Very interesting. How many years did you study English? For how many years? Eight years, okay. Very good, very good. All right. So, um, will you take the Russian national exam? Will you take the Russian national exam? So, what subjects will you take? Like you said, Russian, math, What else?
social studies okay very good so why English is not important in your school So, hire a teacher. And first of all, you have to install a microphone. First of all, you need to have a microphone. If you want to know English, you have to have a microphone. Which teacher do you go to? Which Which teacher do you go to? Which teacher in English? You didn't answer me. Which teacher did you go to? To the English teacher. Did you learn English at the private teacher? Okay, for how long? How long did you study? How long did you study English with a private teacher?
All right. Very interesting. So, um, what do you want to know about me? Okay. What do What do you want to know about me? I teach English to the Russian high school students who want to know English. That's me. What else do you want to know? <laughs> Male or female? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. So, do you want to study English? Well, I, I teach private lessons, of course. I teach private lessons. All right. Um, so, let's see how much English you know. Let me see. Okay. Um, can you write the translation on the board? Just write um, everything what you can see on the board, write it in English. You can write on the board. This class <laughs> doesn't give money <laughs> for what?
So, can you, will you please write the translation, will you please translate the sentences into English? Try. So, do you want to study? Russian okay what is it good and then all right go on do number two Where are you? Okay. So can you answer uh, the second question? Can you answer? Very good. What is that? Go on. What do you mean? What are you talking about? 
Which sentence? Which sentence? What are you talking about? Okay. So, do you know about number four? Okay. Yeah, number five. Come on, you're doing a great job. Very good. Well, actually you can say if I understood you, um, sorry, what is uh, the name of? your doctor you can say so but usually we say what is your doctor's name this is better that's easier how old brother is singular how old is your brother how old is your brother it's not R it's is how old is your brother? On. Mm -hmm. Very good. How are, excuse me, huh? 
how are you okay good very good mm -hmm. yeah what is it or what is this what is that okay so number eight can you write a postcard home from uh, a country no it's you you don't need to write a postcard just for example do you know how to write the address can you write an address like for example let's start with the address let's say um, how would you write the following thing excuse me How would you write that in English? asking you about translation of this sentence this is not a translation number eight is a task I'm asking you about the task so first of all when we write a postcard when we write a letter we have to write the address okay I want you to translate the address the Russian address I want you to translate into English can you translate? Do you know the rules of uh, writing an address? What do you think? Just translate this address into English if you can. Now, um, Yulia, this is not correct. Okay. Yeah, so this is very important. Okay. Let me let me have a look. Just wait a second. 
if I have I, I, I don't remember if I have the page which is necessary for me here but I will have a look just wait a second So right now have a look at this page, you can scroll down and you can see that first of all you write for example Mr. and Mrs. T. Brevar, then you write the number of uh, the house, then you write the name of the street, to Rue Mozart, and then you write the index and then you write the name of the city and then you write the country. or another address is Miss Fanny Bravar it's first of all you have to write the first name and then the last name then you have to write the number of uh, the uh, house then the name of the street then the name of the city and then the index the mail index or the post index and then the name of the city okay so just like you have to start with uh, what have to start with uh, Vanya Ivanov okay and then you have to write 9 and then comma then stro i te lei you can write street sometimes they write instead of street they write all it's also in nowadays it's possible and then you write apartment apartment 15 then goes Moscow and last is Russia okay so this is how we write the address do you understand okay so then we you we, you see you don't know that and you have to learn that um, why? Because this is very important. This is part of the exam. Today, as you know, we write the English exam. We write a letter. Okay? So, that's not a problem. This is my job. <laughs> You, you don't need to say thank you all right I'm just looking for some letters to show you some letters if I have any letters I will just show it to you oh that's not a mistake it's just you know yeah so you see here is a letter now you can understand. First of all, you write 13 Bush Road, Southampton, Hampshire, and then SO62, and then 12th of October or October 12th. And then you write, Dear Mom, Dad, hello, how are you? How is Sabina? I'm fine. Southampton is a nice city. The competition is fantastic. So. Uh, Fanny is uh, taking part in a language competition. I'm number five and your, comp your competition number is five. Children are nice. We are good friends. 
children are from many countries. Two of the children are twins. They are 11 years old. Two. They are from Italy. I'm homesick. That means that she wants to go back home. I miss my country, my house, my bed, and I miss you. My telephone number is 678-965. Please telephone me. I hope you are well, love, Fanny. And P.S. What's this? It's an English kiss. Now you can see that this is an English kiss. Alright. So, we can go further on. So this is how we write letters. Now number 9. Go please to number 9. Yep. Number 9. Write it in English. Yule, number, sentence number nine. Please write it down. So first of all, it's many. It's plural. It's many. Okay. No, you don't do that. Okay, finish. Okay, I will give you the correct version. So what? And then you have to give many things. And when you, you, when you say many, then you have to say what are. And then instead of these, or eat, you have to say these. Okay? What are these? Or what are these things? Okay? What are these? What are these things? Alright? So, number 10. Yeah, very good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Number 11. Number 10 is, is correct. Number 11. Yeah, I have one brother, very good, 
Uh, the only problem is that British people sometimes they say I have uh, got one brother. It's just, you know, it's possible to say instead of I have, you can say I have got. But this is absolutely correct. You can say it like I have one brother, I have got one brother. That's correct. Okay, number 12. So, number 12, what is that? Um, that doesn't matter, believe me, yeah, uh, you see, it's like have, excuse me, have this is same like have got just for you to know we have have and we have have got So number 12 What do you mean? All right. Very good. Very good. That's absolutely correct. You did a fantastic job. Okay, and uh, number 13 will be the last for today. Just do number 13 and we done for today. You did a great job. No, it's a question. Yuda, it's a question. Can you hear me? It is a question. No. <laughs> so you see, you did a good job when you say, do you like pop music? This is absolutely correct. Okay, what are you doing? Yuda, number 13 is not correct. You did a very good job with number 12. This is a great job. I like it a lot. But then you messed with uh, number 13. And this is not good. So do you like pop music? This is very correct. Now, please do number 13 and we'll finish here. Number 13 again. No, please. <laughs> you can do that. Because you did the number 12 in a correct way. Alright. So, the time is up, Yuli. And we'll finish here. And if you want, you will come next time, next Friday. See you next Friday. Do you have any questions? So, this is all for today. Do you have any questions?